Last but not least, Cloud Chasing. This one, you know, I thought this one was going to be kind of obvious, but then I started noticing on, like, social media that everyone is afraid of being called a Cloud Chaser because they don't understand what Cloud Chasing actually is. And, like, here's the thing with Cloud Chasing. <clears throat> to me, cloud chasing is when you make every interaction transactional while disguising it as friendship. I can't tell you the amount of times I've had VTubers who say they want to be my friend, how they admire me, how I'm the reason why they became a VTuber and how they look up to me. And when I finally reach out and like want to talk to them about stuff, I'm like, sure, it's always very transactional. It's the only time I want to talk to you, Mari, is getting advice from you or collabs. That's okay. If you want to be like transactional with the relationship, okay. But don't sit there and tell me you want to be my friend when we don't talk about what friends talk about. We talk about business. That's not friendship at all. In fact, I recently read a book um, from my, uh, from How To ADHD that talks a bit more about the different layers of friendship. And a lot of YouTubers and a lot of content creators kind of get stuck on the transactional stage of friendships because they think that friendship comes first and it doesn't. Your actions, the experiences you share together, people, the things that you talk about, that comes first. And then if a friendship develops, then the friendship develops. So you will be considered a cloud chaser if you try to pretend like you want to be people's friends, but that's not why you're really here because you're afraid of being honest with people and say, hey, I'm here to do business. It's okay to be here to do business. Just admit that. Don't pretend like it's something else when it's not because then that's manipulation and, and lying and cloud chasing. That's going to hurt your reputation. So these are things that you should avoid if you don't want to be viewed negatively in this space because let's call it like it is these are shitty things to do to people i'm not perfect like i definitely have done similar things to this which is why i put it on this powerpoint and i've also had people do this to me so don't do these things they're shitty. let me go back a second is a transactional point in friendship just safer not necessarily if you're interested in me making a video talking about the different layers of friendship um let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to do that. I think for now, what's more important is when you start VTubing or just content creation in general, you kind of need to decide, are you actually here to do this as a business or are you here to make friends? And then being honest about those intentions. What if someone wants to have both, like keep a business and have friendship? Ah, what I say to that is hold on until I get to the slide. It's a great point that you bring up. It will be talked about later when we get to the networking tab.